A3. Yes. OK, here comes A3. All right. <laughs> Carol Jones. From Wells. Um, uh, 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 you can't be there now. <laughs> You're not genuine, but I'll play along. Australian dollars, two and a half thousand of them. Crinkly bottom groats linked to the Gabon Frank, seven hundred thousand of them. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Italian lira, three million of them. Oh, they're going to love this again. <laughs> Do you like the theatre, Carol? Oh, I love the theatre. Absolutely love it. I think we have a fine thespian who's going to go grand grabbing for you. <laughs> What's your name, Dennis? Right, right, right. Oh, no, come along. <laughs> Noelle <Noely> Darling. <laughs> Noelle Darling. Well, you've got you Carol there. Me. Yes, here the, come the questions. The director, the director of the, uh, of the, uh, the, of the Amateur Dramatic Society of Pinkley Bottom, the director of the Strictly Bottom Society for the... Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> Miss Judith Chalmers. And, but Noel, darling. <laughs> Noel, darling. Oh, Dennis, what darling. A, what an inspirational teacher you have been to us over the years. All those regional accents, all those <laughs> international foreign dialects, we have learnt them all from you, from you, oh, his no. master's voice. <laughs> Just have a look at that. <laughs> Greetings, pop figures. Today we feature the man with the best voice in the business. But that's enough about me. <laughs> it's those top ten house party accents. Well, it was nowhere in sight last week, but it's straight in at number ten this week. And it's the dummy rummy. Thank you. You've won the most prestigious award on television. Was crummy, rummy, and a number nine flying high, but not high enough. It's this major Tom sounder like. Is there, is there anyone there wrong with local knowledge? Because, frankly, I, I can't see much except a lot of lights. And on Hoover at number eight, and 25 years ago, this is what he really sounded like, right? There we are, the platters of matters. Just laugh great, eh, mate? <laughs> Going up to number seven, you've heard of giant haystacks. Well, this is Tiny Strawdale. That's right. That's right. You recognize me, pretty boy? He's mean. He's nasty. He's heard the next voice. That's why it's number six. I'm afraid we cancelled the accommodation for them. What do you want to do? And plummeting to number five, it's the Tasmanian Terror with the voice to match. Hello. Hello, it's Mike, the producer here. Can I have a word with Colin? And now it's down to earth as we go up to number four. It's the bloke in the pub. I wish you'd give me that phone. I'm fed up of that. We're getting close, but his accents aren't. At number three, it's the Welsh one. As part of competition, your name, please. Number number two, do my turntables need oiling? Or does he really sound like this? Take my nerves and you're right in my brain! And at number one, it's Hello Sailor from the crinkly, cranky Yankee. Oh. I remember when this used to be a real man's name. That's it from Noel Edmonds. The voice of them all. His ass is <laughs> We're now going to say, ladies and gentlemen, Richard Branson. I can believe it. I don't know. I'm in a state of shock here, but anyway, this is going to be... getting their own back Yeah, here, they right? are. They are, Richard. It's not fair, really. No. <laughs> anyway, uh, Mike Kendrick, he was the man who put us up to it. Uh, is he still working no. for you? <laughs> no, probably not. <laughs> I think we ought to point out they were great sports because uh, they run a highly reputable balloon company, uh, but they managed to play some pranks on you, didn't they? And it was... Uh, actually, it was quite good because you did make one or two mistakes doing the filming, which helped us along with the whole thing. I don't know why I'm talking to you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we, had a sound, we had a sound man who was really awkward and started asking for autographs and that kind of thing. And uh, I'm dressed up in an outfit that's really weird because the UFO balloon there is part of the team thing. And we put a big rip in his balloon. 
So, ladies and gentlemen, learn something about ballooning. It's Branson on ballooning, and your host for this educational film is Karen Keating. Fly, kind of the more weirdly shaped they are. Not really. Once, once the balloon's up in the air, um, it, just go, it just goes with the wind. So it doesn't... <laughs> 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 and, uh, sorry. Um, sorry. So what are we going to do with them this morning? Well, I hope we'll be able to take you ballooning. You want to go ballooning? Yeah. I've okay. heard something about this hair and hands. What's that? Well, what happens is the hair goes off, which is one of the balloons, and then all the other... <laughs> Whoops! Sit! 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 You've seen this dog, haven't you? <laughs> I just say, I don't know where it came from. <laughs> now, Richard, when you were making those incredible record-breaking attempts across the Pacific and Atlantic, were there many moments when you thought, oh, I'd much rather be back at home? Uh, a few. I, I think that... Um, Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Are there any moments when you thought, I'd much rather be back at home? I think that maybe most, most of the trip was... Um, I'm sorry, my fault. <laughs> <laughs> now we're at the front of the balloon. What, what happens next? Right, you have to come in and I'll show you how to do the checks. So. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> you kick her in the face. <laughs> That's very elegant. <laughs> What I do is I take your hand and I take you into the balloon and I show you how the safety checks work. Right. After you. You're lucky you haven't got a dress on actually there with these cameras, but anyway. Right. Well done. You made it. Ooh, wow. Oops. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> right. There's some... Oh. No. Does this matter? <laughs> it's not a good idea. Um, well, you said little holes, well, Richard. Is this what you meant? It's, it's um... Best not, but we, we could just about fly on that one. I'm not sure that the CAA would be very pleased with me. Well, personally, I'd so rather maybe, not fly with <laughs> it, actually. Maybe I'll take you in another Sorry, balloon. Would you, would you really have no, we'll have to take that one off. <laughs> <laughs> right, do come ballooning with uh, Virgin Balloons. Uh, we fly um, over the, over the uh, Nile. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Does this kind of thing happen very much? Um, no, but <laughs> it would when you were here with your cameras, wouldn't it? <laughs> what comes next? Well, I suppose we better try to get the balloon inflated. Well, so first that? of all, we uh, get the fan, the fan going. Get some. Embarrassing. Right. Is this how you put everybody? Yeah. Now it's going to do me. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's one way of getting in anyway. <laughs> Not working. Mr. Carey has asked if you'd sign her tubular bells, like, you know, with something really meaningful. That you can't that old. <laughs> Actually. Yeah. And if... Uh, Born, Richard signing my tubular bells. This was your first one, wasn't it? It was that. It was. Yeah, yeah, no. Do you listen to it now? Yes, well, we'll stop it there for a moment. There's the idiot crewman in the balaclava and whatever. Well, they're now going to film a sequence where they're going to pretend that they're actually flying, but they're on the ground, as you'll see, because there's rather a lot of trees. And <laughs> we're going for the spectacular takeoff. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> it is spectacular, but it's not quite what you'd call a takeoff. A very smooth flight. We're doing well, aren't we? So, Richard, I have heard that your in flight service is excellent. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are we ready? Uh, so, uh, how far off? Oh! <laughs> Flying along. I mean, how do you keep in touch with other balloons if you know we're all up together? Um, <laughs> you meant to have a radio. <laughs> um, anyway, um, yes, you have a radio somewhere. Anyway, you don't worry about it. Oh, thank you. Karen asks a question. Richard turns the burner on, but when he answers, he turns it off. Yeah. No, as long as we. I mean, can... He's trying to drown me out. It's not drowning the sound out. I just thought that was really kind of selfish. I'm sorry, I was selfish. <laughs>
Right, okay, we should be anywhere. Right? Do you want to burn and wait? Right, we're off now then. Come on then, let's go. Okay. Well, this is the most exciting part of all. I'm a bit disappointed, really. <laughs> We're never going to get off of this balloon, are we? And you feel very confident with me, dear. And you know, it's just I'm your crew. I'm losing confidence, <coughs> and I think. Yeah. I think you're not the only one. <laughs> Mark, <laughs> bring the <laughs> balloon down. Um, this is the CAA. Yeah. Oops. Excuse us. <laughs> we will be back in a minute. <laughs> John. John. What the f is going on? Have we got a problem? Service. We've got a major problem here. Hi, 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 hi. Hi. I've got a feeling that you might be grounded. By You've the got just, just a moment. What does this say down here? It says, I declare that I have checked the information given oh, in this notification. Pain. No, John, shut up, Mike. Be to pain. the best of my knowledge, it is correct. I also declare that there are less than seven balloons. Don't be a pain. I'm we not being I thought we, I thought we had... Listen, I thought I've had, had a number of... Would you shut up a moment, please? I have an airport over there, <laughs> and I have this constant is traffic. No. I should lose my no, memory. Okay, so I want to, being a to see thing. the... I want to see... I really would like to get one of them Who holds the licence on this balloon? Well, this yeah. is really between you and Mike. We can, we, can, we can settle this, you know, the two of you between no, you another time. sorry. Listen. I need we to really see have got a lot of song with this. Because I assume then this gentleman you. possesses a talk to you. You assume wrong. Over. Barry. Golf. Right. Oh, well, the envelope does not go with golf. Golf Oscar Charlie Hotel Alpha. Over. Golf Oscar Charlie Hotel Alpha. Say again. <laughs> golf Oscar Charlie <laughs> Hotel <laughs> Alpha. Over. Do you mean Golf Oscar Charlie Hotel Alpha? Over. Control, please. I, I cannot be clearer. It is Golf Oscar Charlie Hotel Alpha. <laughs> I just wish I could have carried you the whole way to the lake. <laughs> yeah, I think I put a bit of weight on you. You stopped about halfway. <laughs> what was actually in your mind at the point where the canopy went away? Um, <laughs> well, I was a bit embarrassed, actually. <laughs> 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 um, uh, well, you got a great yeah, team. Well, anyway, you, you've got a great team. <laughs> Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, Richard Thank Branston. You. Well done. show like this when you do when you do six months of them things always go wrong and we try and gloss over a lot of things that go wrong but I've just been told that we can't actually do the trip around the great house and I've never believed for a moment that Richard was actually gonna go on it <laughs> they told me the car is broken which can only mean one thing it's waiting for me <laughs> <laughs> I wanted you to know that I know take along some in the way. Who have we got? How many people turned up at Wembley? Let's have a look. Wembley Stadium. And... <laughs> this is a nightmare. I wasn't in Brentwood in Essex. I was actually at the other end, you know, right at the end of Crinkley Bottom, turn left. Oh, by Dangley End. Actually, right by your Dangley End, that's where I was, no? <laughs> now, I have to tell you, you are the only person getting number crunching today. You what? see, everybody at home knows that you are the only person getting number crunching. So, <sighs> off you go, just off you go, what? off you go, what? off you go. Off you go. <laughs> I think it suits me really. Andy's house party, I can see it now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go number crunching!